Lincolnshire, made richer by the people around you and those you meet on the road. I'm Dominic, and when I met Ernie Greenwald, I wanted to help realize his dream to cycle across the USA. I'm looking forward to seeing the country that I've lived in for 70 plus years and never really seen. But Ernie's adventurous hopes were destroyed. Looks like maybe the cancer has got the better of him. Had every reason to believe we'd be able to do it. I suppose in a way Ernie's left a legacy. This is the story of how Ernie's impossible dream became possible for 10 strangers that could never make this journey alone. And he's been on a bicycle in 10 years. We're riding cross country and we're loving it and living it and uh, sharing it. This is the last long bike ride all around. Everything is perfect right now, everything. It was now the beginning of October and I'd been on the road for more than three months with nine different companions and traveled from Los Angeles, California to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. With the leaves falling from the trees and the gradual creep of winter, we had one more leg to go until New York City, our final destination. Amy Threat was our final companion. She has suffered from multiple sclerosis since 1996. She arrived in time for a meal with my friends, and we had a chance to find out a little more about her. So I've been dancing, you know, my whole life. Um, at 14, I went to performing arts. I was originally a ballet major. I have chronic progressive primary MS, which meant that the symptoms came on. I swear to God, it was like January, very clearly. January, I had symptoms. By July, I was diagnosed. I thought I was just a klutz, you know, and that, and, and that I didn't know what was wrong with me. But to try and combat the symptoms of MS, Amy had been going to the gym and working out. I mean, I, you guys have to feel my arms. You can't see them, but no, and my legs. I couldn't walk because I didn't have any leg muscles anymore, so now I do. I do leg press. I do pull down. I, I was a dancer, so my legs were like my life. And even when I didn't dance, I walked a lot. I, I went, I used to hike. And I, it's very interesting. MS is very insidious that way. It, it somehow seems to know what you need and take it away. As a person who is a dancer, this disorder has robbed you of the thing that has given you the most joy in your life. And now you have an opportunity, and you're going for it, and you're gonna do this little journey, and you're gonna feel awesome about it. The next morning, after a pancake breakfast, we headed east out of Pittsburgh. Are you ready to go? I am so ready to go, because if, if they feed me any more food, I was telling Dom I'm not going to be able to move on this, or he's not going to be able to move me on the bike. Get set! Go! go. <laughs> Decent! I was hoping that Amy's weekly gym sessions had paid off as we pedaled the first of 450 miles that lay between us and New York City. This is exciting, oh my God. <laughs> this is more, you know, I've been laying in bed for like a month. Given that there were tough days to come, Amy took the opportunity to relax and reflect on our longest day so far. Because I, I trust Dominic so much, I actually was able to just relax and we went, I think, it, I think Dominic said we were going like 48 miles per hour. All I was doing was holding on and trusting him implicitly. I'm used to monitoring my own wheelchair and being the commander of the ship. And I'm letting Dominic be the commander of the ship. And I just went down that hill with total abandonment. The next morning, after some wheelchair yoga to prepare for the day, Amy was feeling good and raring to go. Today, I'm ready for more. I, you know, whatever, whatever this brings on, I'm excited. This trip makes you feel like you can do things that you, like, wrote off. The little bit that I pedaled is more than I pedaled ever. I've seen in beautiful fall colors that I haven't seen in years, years. I don't remember the last time I really saw fall colors. 
But after one week of autumn sunshine and only a stone's throw from New York City, the blue skies disappeared and we were presented with one more challenge. With the weather deteriorating and to the surprise of the public, we resorted to some extreme measures to reinforce Amy's limited rain gear. So because of the rain and the cold, that kind of just about beat us to New York. We almost avoided it, but in the last three days, it's caught up with us. Any, uh, any stuff like rooster tails of water and dripping and soaking this. More than any day we had together so far, Amy impressed me with her grit and determination despite the miserable weather. I should imagine Amy's getting quite cold. She's definitely as wet as... She's like a big sponge now. If I had to wring her, she would just... <laughs> water would flow out of her. And she is way tougher than she gives herself credit for. As if the weather gods were rewarding Amy for proving herself that day in the rain, the clouds disappeared and the sunshine returned for the final approach to the end of our journey in the Big Apple. Our four and a half thousand mile journey with only a handful of punches, ten companions, um, a few tears, quite a lot of laughs has nearly come to an end. Oh my God, you made it. Congrats, Dom and Ernie. We, and more to the point, the 10 companions that have been riding with us, have achieved something of earth-moving proportions. It's amazing. <laughs>